What is up everybody and welcome to another video. Welcome to Jelly Goon TV. Today we're gonna talk about Western people visiting different countries. I've been to Thailand myself, I've seen this firsthand, and it's just some of the things that really annoy me a lot. So the first thing that I really want to bring up is basically just why is it that Western people believe that our country is better than the place that we are? That this is not our standards. So basically what I'm talking about is when we visit a country, let it be Thailand, let it be Vietnam. Vietnam, let it be Asia, let it be Russia, let it be wherever we are in the world. We always tend to comment in public on what is not up to our standards. For example, it could be the restaurant, it could be the blocks, it could be the streets, it could be the infrastructure, it could be a lot of things. It's like we realized out of bed and on the plane that, you know what, we're not flying to another country, we're flying to our country where we live. Now, this is the case for many Western people, sometimes including myself, I do it myself. This is not a video that is trash on people but myself, I'm in it too. We tend to trash on other countries because they're not as rich as ours. They don't have as good infrastructures as ours. And you know, all of this kind of stuff. And it's just really cringe to bitch about because dude, you ain't another country. Like you're literally in another country. You're not in your own country. Stop being so ungrateful and just enjoy your vacation. I seen a lot of foreigners who come through the neighborhoods of, for example, Thailand and they complain like, oh, it's not up to our standards. We cannot live here because it's not a part of us. It's not really you know, it's not really playing to the part of life that we are trying to live. You know, in the Western world, we have so many pictures what are we trying to live, like identity-wise. And it's just cringe when people, they come to another country and they think they are better or it's not up to our standards. One example is I went to this weekend market in Thailand. We were sitting in a bar, listening to some music. It was a great, great thing. I loved it to death. It was not something that happens in my country. It was a different experience. We had this couple right behind us. I kind of eased in what they were talking about. They were talking talking about Thailand in this street, this weekend mark. What they said is one of the main reasons why I hate it so much. They say this is not up to our normal standards. Now, sweetheart, first of all, I don't even understand why you're there. You should have researched the place in order to figure out what kind of place it is. I understand that you want to see it, but could you please stop saying it out loud that this is not up to your standards like you were some freaking god that came down from heaven and all of a sudden we are grazed by your appearance. I hate it so much and please just stop it because you know what? Countries are different and they got the right to be difference. It's just what it is. This is the reason why we travel to get a new experience. Maybe to learn culture. Maybe to relax at the beach because we do not have it where we live. It's cold. It's negative. It's depressed. You know, it's a way to get away from work. So if it does not live up to your standards, sweetheart, keep it to yourself and keep it moving. Everybody else is trying to enjoy it and have a good time. So yeah, keep that in mind. The number two thing that I want to talk about is people talk obnoxious. And it seems like it's us from the Western countries that are paid attention to a lot. I will do it sometimes myself. I will yell a little bit too loud or talk a little bit too loud but that's basically how we communicate in the west and I understand there's a culture barrier right there but sometimes it's good just to realize that you're in another country and you're in another culture I do this all the time with my beautiful wife she always say like oh could you please just you know not talk that loud or it's nobody's business and you know sometimes you will make other people's your business but it's not really like that in Asia like nobody really cares about you nobody cares about the life it's your business and your personal life only. Now, of course, this does not apply to everybody, but I'm just saying Western people have an obnoxious way of talking. We talk loud. We talk about everything. And I don't want to pin anybody out, but I will to do it here, especially American people. I'm sorry. I love my American people. They're beautiful, gorgeous people. But I'm just saying, could you please lower your tone a little bit because you talk too loud, especially people from Los Angeles, New York, and all that kind of stuff. You really tend to think that you're better than everybody else. And we have to hear about your sharp story, how you went to Thailand and how your life is against you and everything like that at the dinner table when I've paid for my vacation like a grown-up and I'm trying not to listen to your life story I don't care I don't care like seriously I don't care sweetheart Los Angeles people are especially the worst because they talk loud and they are really like oh my god like and then she did like oh my god really and then when it's a lot of girls together it is annoying because <laughs> like they would laugh too loud and it's just really obnoxious and it makes us feel very uncomfortable now I'm not saying you can't do this and I'm also a part of that like sometimes I would talk loud Right now, I'm in my own country. I could talk however I want to, but I'm just saying sometimes it's good to respect other people's privacy and know that you are in a different culture. I know it can be hard, of course, because you come from a country and you probably lived there your whole life. Many people didn't, but a lot of people do. You know what I mean? So we are normal to our culture and our standards, but in other countries, it might be good just to observe what is going on here. What is the culture? How is people behaving? It would be a beautiful thing because I'm sorry. I'm tired of hearing American people yelling too much, but uh, I still love America no matter what. They have a great culture over there, but uh, 
it. I'm just saying, keep it down a notch. The third thing that I want to talk about is that we think our law applies to the Eastern world, to everywhere else where we go. Now, sweetheart, if you go to another country, you apply by their rules. That also means the street rules. Now, in case nobody knows what street rules are, I will lay the foundation of what street rules are. When you have a lot of bar, you basically have a community. There's community guidelines, there's community rules of what is going on beside the law. So when you come to Thailand and you're trying to escape the bar tap and you try not to pay for that beer that you got cheated for or anything like that, you will cause a lot of problem because that's bad for business that you are yelling and you're doing all this stuff now people will take it to the extreme maybe kick you out maybe you get a blow in your head all of a sudden you have to go to the cop now you have to understand a certain thing about thailand i could talk about it specifically it applies to the rest of the world as well it depends on what culture you're in but the cops really don't care they just want to solve the problem they don't want to have a headache with you as a foreigner you know mistreating thailand and you know be obnoxious over that you got cheated for one dollar or 30 baht or whatever you know the reason might be. Now, I know sometimes when I go to Thailand, I do get cheated and they take a little bit extra. I don't really mind because it's not that much in my valuta, so I really don't care. But again, I try to be observing about it and trying to do it as calmly as possible to get the situation off. But when we come to another country, we pretend that we have some privilege, that we are from a better known country. It also applies that we think people are under us, so they have to follow our rules and our morals and what we do. Now, the street rules in Thailand and it's simple. You make money and you make it the best way. You make everybody happy and if there are some problems, everybody is together and everybody is solving the problem. Which you see in the videos on YouTube or Facebook or whatever you see it where there are some big fights in Thailand but it's basically because the street rules are don't complain if you get cheated. Just don't come there again. That's just how it is. And I understand people, they are very annoyed by this. It doesn't happen that much. Oftenly, I can definitely sign that. It's just, you know, all law does not apply down there. Also, they do have a king. You're supposed to to respect him, do not talk bad about him, all this kind of stuff, or else you will end up in jail or you'll be banned from Thailand. It is as simple as that, and there are some rules you gotta follow, and it's their country. Now, people, they like to complain when other people come to our country that they don't follow the rules, but you don't exactly do the same thing when you come to other countries. You tend to complain about other countries a lot, right? So, that's the main reason that you gotta keep in mind when you come to another country and culture. Please learn it, and trying to fix it as carefully as possible, and just enjoy your yourself and go away from trouble of course I wish harm upon nobody I'm just saying there's street rules and then there's the laws of a country don't think when you come to Thailand or China or Japan or whatever you do that the same rules in your country applies like in that country so yeah I really see it a lot like people complain like oh it's 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 a oppressed country and blah 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 but you still go on vacation there right you still do your thing kind of funny but yeah So the number four thing I want to talk about, I had a situation with this, and I actually have two situations with this, is we take our problems with us when we're on vacation. Now, of course, as I say, if you are schizophrenic or mental ill or something like that, it's okay, brother, if you go on vacation and sometimes something happens. But I'm talking about the occurrence of wannabe alpha males. I'm talking about privileged people who come to other countries and bring their problems with them. That might what I cure is they bring their violence with them, they bring their attitude with them, they bring the the way they are in their country, they bring it with them instead of being on vacation and relax. Now, a great thing that I have about this is drunk people. Drunk people tend to drink a lot when they're on vacation. They find an excuse to drink about everything. Trust me, I've been there myself. I've been like that. Of course, it's a part of the vacation that you drink a little bit and have fun until you have found your stop limit. Now, many people don't understand a stop limit. That means in, for example, if they're in my country, Denmark, they will to drink until they black out. They will to drink until they fight somebody or something like that. Now you have to understand that there's other rules in this country and that they, they don't care about your obnoxious rules or wherever you are or your problems. Also, there's a lot of people who bring a lot of problems with them, like drinking problems, sex habits, sex problems, all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of giving the paradise a bad, bad stereotype. You know, for example, Phuket. Everybody wants to go Phuket. Everybody asks me, have you been to Phuket? I'm not going to go to Phuket. Maybe on one video, but that's 
just a visit it for a few days. I'm not gonna stay there whatsoever. I don't agree with the way foreigners have made Pugirin to be. It's like a mafia zone with bars and girls and, you know, underage sex is very abroad over there. I know it happens in Bangkok too because right now I think there's 12 million people in Bangkok. So, of course, it's like that. But, I mean, there's these tough guys too who walk around every single bar and trying to start a fight. And, you know, the tough guys with the muscles, the guy with the tattoos who is tough at home but really not tough in the streets of Thailand. And he has no idea. You know these people who go in a situation and they have no idea how dangerous they are surrounded by. Like, it could pop up instant if you did something wrong or you insult somebody the wrong way or it's the wrong person. A lot of young people with muscles and tattoos and all these obnoxious people, they will tend to do violence in Thailand. I really recommend that for being a bad idea. Not for the people's fault, but more for your own safety. Do not do that whatsoever. You're gonna get in trouble. I've seen it a lot with these guys that think they're tough, walking around the street, knocking into people, doing all this kind of stuff. It's just really cringe and just stop it. I know you have some complications with yourself. I know you have some issues up in your brain that you're trying to be the alpha hand. You're trying to be secure. You're trying to be the king of that. And sometimes Thailand can really bring the worst out in people because they think it's a cheap country and therefore they are the king. It is a idiot aspect, I say, of what people actually are. But don't get me wrong. This is not a video about who is right or who is wrong, whatever. I'm just saying there's these people who just annoying as F. Like you can't jo enjoy your vacation if you're with these people. Now I'm not saying it's everybody because there's so many good foreigners. There's someone like me, like others. I met people from, what was it, Bulgaria. I met people from England. What was it more? Austria? Austria, Germany. England, everywhere, beautiful people who have a beautiful mindset about Thailand and who's really, really good to follow the rules and to do these things. But there are many people who come to Thailand for the first time or the second time, a third time, and think that this behavior is okay. It's not. Anyway, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it a lot. I just wanted to talk about this because it's something that really annoys me a lot about people. And I really feel like it's a video that I can make, even though I met a lot of people and they are great people. This does not apply for everybody I'm not saying that I'm just saying simply like have the best time of your life but I just wanted to make this video to make people you know understand how to behave in different cultures and respect the country they come to instead of just being obnoxious and just because they think they're from Denmark or England that they can behave in a certain way and I think it's very disrespectful for the culture and it shows us in a bad light so please man up please woman up and do the right thing of course and uh, yeah with that said uh, please comment down below if I lost any objects or you think there's something wrong with foreigners or the way that they act could you please let me know in the comments down below i would love to know it so yeah anyway guys and girls thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it a lot and uh i'm gonna see you into the next one peace